Mm. The best ever. So today, we're going to talk about fish biomass. I hope you know what fish biomass is. If you don't, you will learn about it today in this video. So today we're going to talk about the fish biomass. What is a fish biomass and why is it so important? And I will show you how to uh, make or calculate your own fish biomass. I highly recommend you to get a six step uh, guide that we offer in our website. This is a guide that is going to give you the critical um, uh, things to focus on when you build an aquaponic setup. And one of them, one of those uh, uh, critical information is to make sure that you got a good ratio between uh, the quantity of fish you have and the aquaponic setup. So basically there is a ratio to respect between the quantity of bacteria you have into your grow bed and the quantity of fish you have into the fish tank. So in this video today, I'm not going to go too deep into this, uh, uh, this specific uh, topic. But what I want to show you is how to calculate the exact quantity of fish you have into your aquaponics setup. Indeed, when you start aquaponics, you put some fish fingerlings into the, into the aquaponics setup, into the fish tank, and the fish are very small. So obviously you put a lot of them and uh, then they grow, right? Uh, with the day, you know, every day you feed them and they grow, they grow, they get larger and larger. And at one point, uh, you need to make sure that you don't have more fish than the system can handle. So that's why the fish biomass is so important. There is also another reason why you want to know what fish biomass you have is uh, to feed your fish. So if you got some fish such as trout, with trout you can get a feeding table when you buy your fish food and it gives you for a specific temperature and a specific uh, size of fish it gives you the, the, the percentage of food that you need to put into the aquaponic setup so the quantity of food that you need to feed your fish to do that you need to know what is the, the total quantity of fish you have in your aquaponic setup so today what we're going to do we're going to see how to calculate the fish biomass it's going to help you into those two things the first thing is to uh, be able being able to use uh, the tables to feed your fish and the second thing is to make sure that you don't have too many fish you don't want to have your aquaponic setup uh, to be uh, at the maximum limit and they unfortunately going over what the bacteria are able to handle and having a peak of ammonia and a peak of nitrates that will definitely kill your fish and uh, completely kill your ecosystem so now how do we calculate the fish biomass? So the fish biomass is very simple when you think about it. It's the number of fish you have in your aquaponic setup multiplied by the average weight of your fish. So the number of fish you have in your aquaponic setup is quite simple. When you buy your fingerlings, you're going to buy, let's say, 200 of them, 300 of them, whatever the quantity is. You put them in your fish tank. So you know the number you have at the beginning. And then if you lose some, you know, sometimes you, you got one or two fish that die, it happens. So you know how many fish you found dead. So then you can do the math, you know exactly how many fish you still have into your aquaponic setup. So the number of fish you have is quite simple to, to know, right? Uh, you should roughly know, then you, need, you don't need to be uh, exactly on the number, but you need to, uh, you must, it's quite easy to have a rough number uh, of the number of fish you have. Now for the average weight of fish, that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to show you how to calculate or how to know the average weight of your fish. So in order to do that, you will need uh, two things. You will need uh, a bucket and you will need a scale. Here today I'm going to use this scale, which is a, a five kilo scale. So uh, it's going to be a, a small average weight that we're going to do. Very, uh, very easy, uh, but you can do it if you got a bigger setup with uh, 100 fish, I reckon you have to do it on 30 fish, so use a bigger scale. Today I use what I have. Uh, if you have a small aquaponic setup, you can, like me, use uh, the kitchen scale and it's going to give you a good uh, approximation of the average weight of your fish. And then you also need a bucket of water. So I'm going to fill this bucket with some water from uh, my fish tank. Put uh, enough water for the fish to be able to stay alive into the bucket. That's what I'm going to do right now.
once you got your bucket with water, you need to wait. So I'm starting the scale, zero. I put the bucket of water on it. And here I got the weight of the water. I got 3.224. So I'm gonna take this number, I'm gonna write it down right now. Three kilo, 224 grams. So now all you have to do is to fish some fish and to put them into the bucket. Okay, I got my fish here. I put only three of them and I'm gonna weigh them now. And here I got the weight of the three fish. So three, on, three kilo, 919. And I, I know that before I have three kilo, 224. So now I just have to do the subtraction of 3919 minus 3224, which should be uh, not far from uh, 700 grams. So here we can see the nice fish. When you got your fish into the bucket, that's a perfect opportunity. To, to look at them, look at the skin, and to make sure they have no disease, right? You want to make sure your fish are in good health. So here, it's really good because when you got, we got them into your bucket, you can really see the quality of the skin, if there is any fungus, if there is any parasites. So we saw here that on three fish, the average weight is uh, 233 grams. So now, uh, you know that uh, you know the quantity of fish you have so you can know the total quantity of biomass so for example here in my case that's silver perch so silver perch we mix the sizes so here it was the average weight of the big ones so the big one are 233 grams each with the biggest one are uh, closer to, to 300 grams and uh, the smaller one as, are below and then we got uh, the small ones because here I mixed, uh, I mixed different seasons of silver perch together. So the smaller one are close to 50 grams and I got approximately 40 of them. Which means that in, into the number of big ones, the big ones I got 10 of them. So 10 by 233 grams is 2.3 kilo of fish. Plus the small ones, I got 50, uh, 40 of uh, 50 grams fish, which is equal to two kilo. So in total, I got 4.3 kg of fish biomass into my aquaponics setup. And now that's why it's interesting. You need to see if you got enough grow bed to, um, to uh, process all the, all the ammonia from, uh, those that, that is generated from those fish. So here, I got two grow beds, so I'm fine because the minimum grow bed quantity that I need is 235 liters, right? Because I got 4.5 kilo of fish. And I told you before that we need 50 liters of grow bed media uh, per kilo of fish. So it means that for 4.5 kilo, I need 225 liters. So I got more than that in my setups here, so that's fine. So you can do the same thing in your place. Make sure that you got enough, uh, enough grow bed for the number of fish. And if you see that you are close to the limit, sell some fish or eat some fish. You don't want to wait to have a problem. It's better to minimize or to, to stay below the limit. Uh, you don't want to go over the limit and having some problem because it's never good to react in aquaponics. Always better to, uh, to anticipate and to get rid of the problems before. So I think it's uh, very clear what you need to do to get your fish biomass. And I think it's very clear why you need a fish biomass is because you want to avoid the big problems where you lose fish. If you don't do that, one day or another, you're going to have more fish than your system can handle. And that's why you're going to have some problems. So this video is really a key and no one is talking about it, unfortunately, but that's, that's very important to know the fish biomass you have.
right? So in this video, we saw how to do an average weight. Once you got your average weight of fish, you multiply it by the number of fish and it gives you the total biomass of fish you have into your aquaponics setup. Then you need to make sure that you have enough grow bed for this population of fish. And if you don't have enough uh, bacteria, if you don't have enough grow bed volume, get rid of few fish, right? So that's, uh, that's in short what you need to do. Now, in this video, I did the average weight on three fish, but if you got, normally it's good to do it on 30 fish. So uh, if you got uh, a small setup with a small number of fish, uh, you can just do it on a few. If you got 100 fish in your setup, you can do it on 10 or plus. 10 to 30 it gives you a really good uh, statistical representation of the average weight of few fish. If you got big discrepancies between the fish, then you need to do a, a, a big number, so do it close to 30. But already if you do 10, if you take the weight of 10 fish, it's gonna give you a good idea of uh, the average weight of the fish. And so you're gonna be able to calculate the fish biomass and see if you can continue to grow more fish or if you need to get rid of a few to stay in a comfortable limit. Because remember that when the fish reach this size, you know, it goes very quick, then they, they increase their body very quickly, especially in summer. So uh, make sure that you don't go over the maximum capacity of your aquaponics setup. Now, um, if you want more information about uh, technical information about aquaponics, I created this free guide, which is a six step guide to breed and manage your aquaponics setup. It's free and you can get it from the description of this video. I'm Jonathan from Melbourne Aquaponics and we're going to learn aquaponics together. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Delicious. Thank you for watching the video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to get your free gift from this screen. You can also leave me a comment below the video, subscribe to the channel and see my last video. I really hope to see you soon and I wish you a fantastic success with aquaponics. Have a good crop!